Hello everybody, I'm Gary Bernier, Whiskey Sommelier. I'm here in the Whiskey Vault with my good friend, Dave Young. Dave is a Whiskey Sommelier, a Wizard of Ads partner, and the co-host of the Empire Builders podcast, which is uh, something if you're in the business, I'd love you to take a listen to. But Dave, I've asked you to share with us a whiskey. What did you choose? To pick a whiskey. So of the 3,000 or so whiskeys in this room, one that nobody would ever pick to share and to say, let's let's try this. Okay. Cuddy Sark. And you've got me. I have never tried it. I've seen it. Right. I it's, know about it. It's a bottom shelf kind of whiskey, right? It, it was in fact I'm sitting on the floor back here. <laughs> but it's here. And um, what I love about whiskey stories is they're stories of relationship. Okay. Right? And so mm -hmm. And my relationship with it goes back to my uh, <laughs> early childhood, believe it or not. And, and how old was? <laughs> I was probably 10 years old, 12 years old. And why were you playing with it then? Uh, because this is the scotch my dad drank. Oh. And uh, I used to, uh, he and, uh, you know, he was, he was a radio guy. He was an ad guy in the age of the Mad Men. Yeah. Right? So mm -hmm. we're talking 60s, 1960s. He'd come home kick his wingtips off, loosen his tie, and want to sit down with a cocktail in his hand. Right? And scotch and soda was his jam. That was his go-to. And Cuddy Sark was the, was the scotch that he bought. And there's a, there's a smell to, um, we were talking about this, it's, it's like there's a smell to a blended scotch that's a little different than a lot of single malts and, and others. And to me, there's that muskiness, right? I'll, I'll pour you a little. And when I, when I took the, the whiskey, Somalia class. This was one of my first markers for scotch. And when I smelled that, and then didn't know that it was a blended, but it's there's just a sort of a muskiness to it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about a lot of blended scotch is uh, they put it's it's hundreds of barrels go into that. Right. And they don't want to waste any scotch. So they might have a barrel that's gone bad, that's got a little funk to it, that's it's a little uh, you know, you, you go into your grandma's basement and there's sort of a funky, mildewy... There's always that one in the back right? corner. It's like something, <laughs> something's gone off here, right? right? And there's there's a little bit of that note in some scotch that I think is probably that. It's just, it's just they didn't put all the good stuff. This isn't just the pure good stuff. So it's a good cocktail scotch. It's a good scotch to mix with soda, if that's your thing. And um, so I drink it for sentimental reasons. When I pour some cutty, I'm having a drink with my dad. He passed away in 1990. Here's your dad. And uh, so, yeah, here's to Dad, and uh, thanks for the lessons on uh, bartending and, and others. Um, you, if you put Cuddy Sark in with scotch, put it in a tall glass, uh, or put Cuddy Sark in with soda in a tall glass, you can drink for a, a couple hours while your friends have round after round, and, and you'll stay sane. Nice. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Yeah, that's scotch. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Dave. I would have never picked it up. Never thought about it. Thanks for sharing the story about your dad and Cuddy Sark with us today, Dave. That's for me, I'm. It's all about uh, memories and relationships with this with a particular bottle. I'm not that great at picking up tastes, but <laughs> I, I love stories like that. Yeah, that was an awesome. Thank thanks you for man. asking me to tell it. All right. Cheers. Bye bye.